I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm out here in the factory building M80s. Uh, I, I sold the last one this morning, so um, yeah. So I'm going to make five M80s today. Now, uh, when it comes to the part of it that captures the leg, I haven't really taken the time to show you exactly what's going on there. So uh, let me drill the three holes in this, and then we'll take it over to the mill, and I will explain to you in detail <laughs> what exactly is involved in uh, putting the leg holes in here. First thing I need is a hole that goes down through here and into the chamber below uh, for the leg to slide down into. Now after I drill this undersize with this, this is the numbered drill, uh, then I will ream it to a, to a good fit with a reamer. So uh, let's drill some holes. Now I'm going to run this, I'm going to chamfer the holes to uh, put a taper into the opening. It's not required, but it's a nice, it looks nice, especially when you get done with all the milling. Whether you can see that or not, I broke the edge right there. Okay, I've drilled these three holes 120 degrees apart and I've reamed them so they're just uh, a good fit with the uh, leg. And now I'm going to do the part that is a little tricky. I'm going to go in and mill the slot in here so when this leg goes in and indexes, it can't spin it will drop right into a slot and that will capture it so it can't spin. So you, this is the part that keeps your pot stand legs from swinging all around when you put them in your stove. So, uh, let's do that. Get all the chips out of there, and there we go. She goes right in, goes into that slot, and it can't can't move because it's in the slot. So it'll always stay indexed uh, when you put your pot on and not move around without any having any junk up here to capture it. Uh, just the legs, just the tips of these legs, and they're bent so that they're pretty much out of the ring of flame, so the heat can't travel down them and heat up the base. Ah, that's important. Now, other than installing the nipple in the base, this stove is finished. Everything I'm going to do from here on is just to take weight out of your pack. Uh, I'm going to mill all the extra metal out of here right up to the edge of the leg holes, and I'm going to mill a slot in the side. That's all basically uh, just to make it lighter weight. It has nothing to do with it. It's a functional stove right now. So, let's get busy.
So all that work of drilling and reaming and slotting, all of that is so that when you put this leg in, move back a little bit, it can't, it can't do this. It can't swing around in either direction. and It's right in there solid. It can't move anywhere. It, and that's the difference between the Mini Bull Design Stove and anybody else's in the world. Details, details, details. So, let's finish it up by uh, lightening up this base by uh, milling a slot in it and then put the nipple in. You can mill a flat, drill a hole, and put a nipple in. And that's how I make the uh, body of the M80. Now, I've gotten, oh, I don't know, four or five people either a comment on, on YouTube or in an email. They've asked me about adjustable stoves. So let me give you uh, my thought on it and my experience. Uh, I've made a few adjustable stoves. The most memorable one is the a Never Stove. Uh, now, the problem with that stove was, although when you first started it up, uh, the adjustment was fantastic. Uh, if wide open is 100%, closed down was only like 10 or 15%. Uh, but, uh, like everyone I've ever seen so far, uh, once they get warmed up and the flames heat everything up on it and it starts boiling the alcohol, instead of going from 100% down to 20 or 10, it goes from 100% down to about 80 or 90. You can see a change in the flame, but it makes very little difference in your boil rate. It certainly doesn't go down to a, to a slow simmer into a full boil. It goes from a full boil to a you know, high medium boil. So until I come up with a design where I can get 20, 100, 20% of what I get at wide open. Uh, I'm going to keep working on it, and I haven't yet. And uh, from what I've seen, I don't expect uh, <laughs> I will in the near future. So uh, that's the reason why I'm not doing that anymore, and that's the reason why I don't make the Never stove anymore. I also made a hoop stove, which is, if anybody knows, can remember the video where that was, I can't even find it because it works so bad. The hoop stove I made it works so bad. Uh, that I didn't even make a proto video on it. It's on the back end of a regular video somewhere. 
and it's a round stove uh, with a ring all the way around with a felt all the way around and a hole in the middle. I think I called it the hoop stove. Can't remember how long ago, but it's in there somewhere. Somebody, if you stumble onto it, uh, let me know because I'd like to go back and look at it again. And I've lost it with close to 2,000 videos. I can't keep track of this stuff. But anyway, it, it, it performed so badly that I just, I, I never, I, they went out in a, in a proto box somewhere. Somebody's got them. <laughs> so, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day.